Hi, this is again First Tempo. You, after some while, uh, we are uh, already together. And today, our next guest is Axel, Axel Truschev, one of the uh, stars of this year's uh, Bulgarian Super League and a player of Neftochimik Burgas. Uh, hi, Axel. Thank you for being here. Hi, hi. Um, Finally, we meet each other. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we we tried to organize that for for some time, but um, yeah, eventually we are we are here. So I am uh, I I need just to ask for this uh, first question. Can you can you tell us a little bit for your Bulgarian origin? <laughs> my father is Bulgarian, my mother is French, and uh, actually my parents mean uh, they met each other in uh, in one small island. Uh, close to how would I say in the West Indies, and uh, <laughs> and my father is from Varna, and my grandfather also was there. Unfortunately, he passed away last October, so that was all. Also, one of the reasons that I come in Bulgaria to spend more time with him, but actually, he passed and away. You're, and you're this is part of the life. You're back to the sea, even not in Varna, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, in Burgas is a very yeah. nice also. Uh, you you started your uh, your, your whole career. You you played uh, for now uh, until now until until Neftochimik in in France. Can you tell us about uh, the start of your career? How did you start playing volleyball? Uh, I was making a lot of sport before. Uh, I was making tennis before that, and I was. I was not able to be to be tennis player, I think, because I was too nervous. So I was destroying the <laughs> my racket and stuff. So we decided to change, and uh, I go for rugby. Uh, then I try also volleyball because my father knew the 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 president of Lyon. It was Bulgarian guy, and uh, I try. I make one week. <laughs> with a lot of blues on my skin <laughs> because I didn't touch the ball for the first time and uh, after I said to my father okay uh, I like this sport and actually I think one month after that uh, yeah no one year after that I decided to to try to be not somebody but to try to go in sport and school and and let's follow the process so it was really nice yeah, and uh, can you tell us uh, a little bit about your career so far be before coming to Dr. Kimik? So I was playing in Lyon. Uh, I'm from Lyon in France. I played there for two years as professional. Um, then after I go in set, close to Montpellier in France, in the south of France, for three years. Then in um, then one year in Ajaccio uh, was my one of the best season that I make. Uh, after that, I signed two years in Paris. Uh, I make only one after we decide to, to cut the contract because both of us, we don't, uh, we don't find a way to continue. Um, after that, I finish. So the season, uh, it was the end of the season actually, but I go for the, the end of the season for the playoff with one team in the second league. To try to to make something for the for the player for them to try to to go in the first league, and we win. So so this team now is in the first league. So it's very nice. Uh, I'm very happy for them. And um, after that, I sign in Cambrai, in the north of France. I make three months, and unfortunately, I break my my finger. Uh, I break the ligament. So I used to go for a, for a surgery, three months out. Uh, then after that, when I was close to come back, uh, the club of Poitiers called my, my, my club and said, OK, we can take Axel for uh, the play down because this team of Poitiers was one of the last team in the championship and they want somebody to try to make something to help the team. At least I'm not... Uh, a superhero, but to try to to help the team, so I decide to go, and I finish my season there. And after that, I I decide to come in Bulgaria. I can stay in France, but I decide to that my 
adventure in France is done now for me. So I want to to go outside of France and to play to play as a foreigner. Yeah, and uh, before coming to 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 the start of your Bulgarian period, so to say, I have a let's say a small riddle for you. Can you tell us all of the Bulgarian players you played with in France? Because I believe they are they are pretty much a lot. I have my information from the website Volleybox, so probably it's not that perfect. But let's let's try and uh, name them yeah. uh, the players you played because I believe they are. In my information, they are one, two, three, four, five, six, eight players. Yeah. So, so first of all, my my coach when I was young was uh, Danai Mihailov, one uh, of the receiver from national team in Bulgaria since a long time ago. Uh, after that, I start my career with uh, Vlado Nikolov. <laughs> was uh, <laughs> Very nice, very nice experience because he pushed me a lot. He, and for that, I'm really grateful what he do for me. When I was young, I didn't understand what he wanted to explain to me because I was too... <laughs> I don't know about this, but... And uh, after I play, so with Vlado, I play with um, with Ivanov, the libero of uh, Levski. Yeah. I play also with uh, Gotsev. Uh, I play with uh, uh, Branimir Grozdanov. I play also with uh, Georgi Petrov. Uh, I think I have, I have three more guys on the list. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and 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 Daniel Mikhailov as a coach is is not uh, is not there. Yeah. Oh, oh, shame, shame on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, okay, okay. I, I'm not going to. Uh, yeah. Uh, I have Rosalind Penchev on the list. Yeah, but I was not playing with him because not he was playing? in Poitiers. He was uh -huh. he, he was in Poitiers, and after uh, when he leave, mm -hmm. and then after Poitiers start to search for. Uh, so. So, so leave, you you are Bulgarian a substitute leave. of him, not there. Yeah. yeah, one Bulgarian yeah. leave. And another half Bulgarian cup, and uh, and also two players uh, who I believe play play more broad than in Bulgaria: Kirill Dimitrov and Alexander Mitkov. But I'm yeah, not I'm yeah. not that acquainted with them. Yeah, they um, Kirill was playing in France. His uh, his father is Bulgarian, his mother also, but he's, he lived all his life in in France. And uh, and Mitkov, yeah, I was playing with him when I was young. It was a uh, so I forget. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you you already told that uh, your origin, uh, your father partially is uh, also the, the desire to change, but uh, how did the first contact with Neftochimik occur? I spoke with one agent uh, because I changed the agent because I want to come here. Uh, was with the one French agent, and I say that uh, we're gonna stop to to work together because I want to find a Bulgarian agent to be to be sure to find a club here, and uh, we start. They start to to look at me for the play down, so this was the the worst moment for me. But at least at the end, I start to play very good, so this was nice. And uh, the president, uh, Mr. Tomov, was really happy about what he, what he saw in the video. So he, he said to this agent, OK, we can sign Axel. And this was good because Burgas is at two hours from one hour and 45 minutes from Varna. So it was good for me if I want to go with the car to see my grandfather. But actually, everything was good on the plan. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, actually, you you didn't start the championship, the the league, the Super League that that well, but uh, and you you had a playing head coach Ivan Stanev, uh, but now you changed uh, thereafter. You changed the coach with Atanas Petrov, and actually now you are in a in a series of 10, 10 wins in a row. You haven't lost since uh, 
the beginning of November and what change uh, what change with the, the coming with uh, taking charge of uh, the team as uh, I mean Tanas Petrov um but first of all when we start the season uh we start with uh, one win against Pirin the first game I didn't play these first two games I start to play against uh, about the third game because I got some I tired a little bit the muscle yeah. uh, on, on my triceps. So we decided with the club to to take me some rest. So um, actually, I don't know. I think it was difficult also for Ivan to to be coach and also also player. This is a this is a full job. So to be to be center of the team you have to think about everything and especially after that you are the coach also so you have to think about uh, the organization the the game plan you have to make everything so this is very tough and also yeah the team i would say the chemistry of the team was not complete was not uh, was good because we love each other because this year is one of my first year that everybody is very nice and we spend a lot of good time outside of the court but uh, at least this was maybe too much because this is my opinion that you cannot be coach and and player also this is not possible so at least and uh, when Nathan has come um, I saw that Ivan was a little bit more uh, relaxed about everything and just think about volleyball and um with Atanas, we make a lot of uh, system. We make a lot of system uh, that I never make since I'm professional. Uh, we work a lot of block, about the block. This is very important. And uh, I don't know. It's like, um, I really like this coach because it's like, uh, he got this human touch, you know, like you can speak with him, you can speak about everything and he's, he understand everything, you know. He's not one coach who say, "Hey, you do this, and I, this is my job. You do what the fuck I want, and that's it," you know. So at least I have very, very good relationship with him, and I, I hope this will continue. You know? How do you estimate the level of the Bulgarian league? You have, yeah, plenty of matches so far. Also, the Cup of Bulgaria, you played the semi final. Let's say it in comparison to the to the level of the French league. The level of the French league is more uh, constant. Like uh, the last team can beat the first team, so it's equal every time. And in this league, uh, you got five, six team can play really good, and the other one is a little bit uh, not under under, but you you can see about also the budget and stuff that the team cannot compete with the other one. So I really like the Bulgarian Championship because like this you can take a lot of confidence, you can work and continue to 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 progress of uh, of everything on volleyball. And um I'm really surprised also because I didn't expect that. Um it's funny because when I signed here I didn't think one time about uh, the level of the championship. I signed because I want to be close of my family. The rest, uh, I really don't care. And I'm very happy actually to sign here because we are playing good now since Atanas is here. And um, yeah, 10 games in a row we win. I didn't know. I didn't count. Yeah, 10 oh, I, I, I Actually, I, I checked it just before. I, I was sure that you have five, six... Probably seven, but I I, I I didn't expect that, that they are ten already. I, I believe I believe your also. your your last your last defeater is uh, against Levski, the, the team actually you played the next the next match with next Monday uh, and uh, and so this is I believe sixth of November something like this. So this is uh, three months That's and it. a half when it comes to the Super League. Of course, you you have a uh, one defeat in the. Um, yeah, in, in the, in the in cup, the but uh, but when it comes to the to the Super League, it are ten wins in a row. Not too bad. <laughs> yeah, uh, and uh, yeah, if if I can add something to 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 your comment uh, on the on the level of the league, 
actually, I believe uh, for you to come in this moment is is very suitable because in the last three four years, each year each each season, uh, the um, the level of the league is raising, and this is very this is very positive. And I believe that with players like you and also other players, for example, uh, Julio Sabe in Heber and Masari and uh, yeah, uh, uh, many other players, this is. Uh, this is a very positive sign for the league. Um, this will be more famous. I, I, after I cannot, co we cannot compare myself with uh, with uh, this kind of player like Sabi Masari because this is kind of player like uh, how how world class player. You know, uh, they play in very good championship. They already done the the career. Uh, me, I mean the beginning now. I, in the beginning, middle, I don't know, but at least this championship is very interesting. I spoke a lot with some French guy to to come here in this championship because you got a lot of a lot of opportunity to to continue to progress. This is a good step to go forward. So, and also there is Hebar is very good team. They play Champions League at least, and this is important for Bulgaria to show that. Uh, Bulgarian team are here also, so so this is very interesting. Now, what Bulgarian words do you use in the in the in the dressing room <laughs> and also on the court? I I use a lot of bad words, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> probably probably they are the, they are the first words you you learned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but at least my my favorite uh, sentence is. Как беше мерси на френски? And when when somebody tell me this for the first time, I was like, man, you stupid or what? Yeah. But uh, but now I I learned Bulgarian uh, because I I didn't speak nothing about Bulgarian since uh, when I was young uh, because my 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 mother and my father they were separate and uh, when I was young my father I didn't live with my father and. Uh, I didn't see him for many many months, so so it was a little bit difficult. And now I try to also. It was important for me to come in Bulgaria to to make this step also for my father because I'm proud to be half Bulgarian, you know. So yeah. yeah. And uh, my last two questions are: firstly, which players? Uh, influenced you the most in your career? It it could be some kind of examples, idols, or teammates also. Vlado. Well, Vlado <laughs> very quick, quick answer, yeah. And now, he, and now he's your opponent. Uh, uh, yeah. He's a president of the team, but however. Vlado Nikolov, because when I was young, he he tried. He really tried to push me, but really tried to push me. We spent a lot of time together. Only together to go in the Starbucks to <laughs> to take this uh, caramel latte macchiato. I remember this like it was yesterday, and he was explaining to me, Axel, come on, man, you got really big potential. You have to be more strong, more strong in the head. And I was like, what the fuck, what the fuck you want, you know? <laughs> Just give me, I want to enjoy. And I was, I was what, I was eighteen, no, nineteen, yeah, eighteen. And and yeah, also now I understand, but before I was like, yeah, this guy, man, is, he's the devil, you know, you cannot <laughs> speak with him, you cannot argue with him. It's like typical Bulgarian, oh, you say something and jump on you directly. <laughs> and, uh, but at least was, now I understand everything, what he, he tried to, to, tell, to explain me and I'm really grateful about what he said. Also, also my father, also my father is an ex-sportman and uh, he pushed me a lot with this uh, strong mentality to be strong, to, you know, I cannot explain this, but it's uh, it's very nice to have people like you on, the, on your side and to try to go forward and... Uh, yeah, but Vlado is the, the, the guy who he built me sometimes, you know, because some guy of the team some <laughs> they told me, hey, man, don't speak like this, you look like Vlado now. 
and uh, and lastly, uh, can you name a dream team of players we, you have played with? I believe you will start with Vlado, but the, the other the other players. Actually, I will not. Maybe not. I don't know. Because, <laughs> um, okay, with player that I play. Yeah. Okay. I will take Zveto Gotsev because uh, another <laughs> opponent. No. Yeah. I will take. I will take Branko Grozdanov with me. Um, Teddy Salparov. Yeah. Um, after I will take. Maybe I would take Ben Tara. Now he's playing in, in Poland and he's uh, yeah. one of my greatest friends. And uh, uh, the, now he's the Tunisian, friend. you mean? Yeah. 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 Tunisian. And now he's going to go, he's going to be maybe part of the national team of Poland. So, really? Yeah, I got, didn't know that. Yeah. He got, the, he got the two passport. So he will try. Uh, maybe Ben Tara because. Yeah, I heard some rumors that she's going to play in Perugia next season. Maybe. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, I, I saw something in the Polish in the Polish media. Yeah, maybe. I cannot talk about this, but uh, because this is not official and I don't yeah. know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. Uh but actually uh yeah, this and what we need, we need a setter. We need a setter. I would take I will take, uh, oh yes, I will take Ropret, this uh, Slovenian yeah. guy, the best, the best Another setter. Another Perugia guy. Played. Yeah, the best setter that I played in my career. Um, and we need the... another outside. And okay, let's, if you know the other one outside. Mido, Mido, I will Mido take uh, Arthur Schwartz. He's play, he was playing in, uh, in Latina and now I think he's in. Uh, uh, yeah, in, uh, in, Monza? in Monza, in Monza, in Monza, in Monza, in Monza. and uh, and at least are, are, and you, the are you the outside hitter? <laughs> and the coach, and the coach, I would take Atanas Petrov. Okay, <laughs> and, very, uh, very outside, quickly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, outside hitter. Yeah, I will take Branko because he's one of yeah. my really good friend. But I think one of the best that I play. Outside it was. Uh, I play with uh, with Tim Carl in uh, in national team yeah. when we was young, and he's one of my best friend and he's very 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 amazing player. So I really he, like he's him. part of the of the of the big roster of the of the French national team now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And okay. also play, he's playing amazing in Berlin. So. Yeah, yeah, Heber, Heber played uh, against him. Yeah, and two years. days ago they, they win against Zirat, so they are now in quarterfinal yeah. of Champions League, so it's yeah. very nice. Axel, thank you very much for this podcast. I, I, it was Bye. really a pleasure. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Sorry for the, the delay because we try to, to, to yeah, find a way that's pretty to normal, each yeah. other. But at least thank you so much. And uh, if you need something else, yeah. call me. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thanks again for listening or watching to this podcast. I believe that you it was also a pleasure for you, just for us, yeah. Axel. And uh, yeah, uh, subscribe to the channel uh, if you haven't uh, so far. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah, thank you, man. Thank you.